Hello, my name is Antoine Jacobson and I am director responsible for the King's Kitchen Garden in Versailles, the Potager du Roi, created by Louis XIV and continuously cultivated by gardeners since 1678. With the help of the Oak Spring Garden Foundation, a group of us from the uh, King's Kitchen Garden has come to Oak Spring both to think about our own needs, but also to try to understand what's happened here. We've chosen with Tony Willis, the uh, librarian, three, three books that are both important for the King's Kitchen Garden and important for Oak Spring Garden. We have the first edition of La Cantini, the creator of the Kitchen Garden in Versailles. First edition, a particular edition, it's the, uh, it's the volumes that, were, that belong to the brother of Louis XIV. And we have there two images of uh, before and after of a tree that has been pruned, one of the big specialties of La Cantini. And very importantly, what we see there is something where it's not as strict as what people imagine today. It's a bit freer. And I think that might have been important to Mrs. Mellon. A second book from about 100 years later. The first book is from 1690. A second one called The Traité des Arbres Fruitiers by Duhamel du Monceau, published in 1768. With colored plates that were colored slightly later, than when the book was originally published, probably the first uh, scientific pomology. And again, in this book, we have an image of fruit tree shapes, and we can see that things have slightly evolved. They are, they're starting to get a bit more geometrical, uh, a bit more, perhaps we should, should we say, standardized. Books that are both practical and research-oriented. A third book that I learned from Tony Willis was fundamental to Rachel Lambert Mellon's thinking in terms of organizing and planting Oak Spring Garden, a book called Le Jardin Fruitier, the, the Fruit Garden by Louis Noisette. And here we again see that there has been some evolution. People are starting to prune trees with more precision and they're starting to add different kinds of shapes in a, main, in a same space. What's important about all three books is their interest in fruit trees, but an interest which is both practical and pleasant, an interest which is both scientific and aesthetic.